For this podcast, we're going to do the application, do, do an application of the circumference of a circle. So let's do a circle here. That is a nice circle. And now let me draw, we're going to do one of these windows that, that you see a lot. Where this is going to be a window. And I need to erase the bottom piece of it. Okay. So for whatever reason, we need to buy some window trim or something. We need to figure out the uh, circumference of this window. So there's going to be that where the circle starts. So bottom line, you just need to get out, get out a tape measure and start measuring. And let's say we measure measure this bottom piece down here to be oh, let me switch colors let me go measure the bottom piece to be three three feet measure the side piece up until where the circle starts to be five okay and so then we need to measure around the circle now, that's not so simple to do to get a good accurate measurement so what you really want to do is find go halfway into this thing and that would be the center of the circle so that would be in what's half of three three divided by two would be 1.5 feet and then measure straight up to get the radius of the circle and let's say we did that and we got the radius of that circle to be two two feet <clears throat> now we can find the perimeter so let's find the perimeter of this window So, for the for the square or the rectangular part of the window, we just add. Let's say rectangular. We just add this left side. That's gonna be five feet. Plus the bottom here is three feet. Plus <coughs> plus the side here is five feet. Okay, and gives us a total of. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 3 is 13 feet. Now let's look at the circular circular part of the window. Uh, we need to find the distance around from the top of this rectangle around and then back down to the top of the rectangle on the other side. And we know that's a circle. We know that's radius 2. So we know the circumference of a circle C equals 2 pi r 2 times 3.14 times the radius which is two feet and that is two pi r ah oh, and this is going to equal let's break the calculator out for this one All right. <coughs> excuse me uh, two uh, let me clear everything out two times three point one four times 2 12.56 12.56 12 feet okay now the key is to note that that's going to be the circumference of this entire circle if we went all the way around the circle so it's pretty clear that I only need half of that so uh, let's let's say uh, let's call that uh, C half the circumference of half the circle is just going to be 12.56 feet divided by 2 and let's get that distance um, tools calculator clear everything out 12.56 divided by 2 that's only 6.28 6 6.28 feet okay so let's go in red here and we get our total our total perimeter uh, perimeter total is going to equal to the rectangular portion which we got to be 13 feet uh, plus 
the the half circle there, which we got to be 6.28 feet, and it gives me a total perimeter of. Let's get the calculator out. 6.28 plus 13. We're at 19.28. Okay. Again, let's quickly say what we did again. We need we had this window here, and we needed to find the circumference around it for because we wanted to buy some window trim, the perimeter around the circle, or the, around the window. And the, the the easy part is the, the rectangular portion, you just measure around it straight lines. You measure five measure three, measure five, and we get 13 feet. And then it's tricky, a, a tape measure does not go in nice little circular arcs for you, so you, there's some other ways you need to find the circumference of, of circular arcs. So we know this thing's a circle, so we go to the center, we know that the whole width is three, so we go to the center, which will be 1.5 in, and then measure vertically, or you could measure it actually anywhere to the circle, and you would, you would get two feet if it's a perfect circle. Okay, and then we know for the circle here, we find the circumference is 2 times pi times that radius, 2 feet. And that gave us 12.56 feet. But then we also had to notice that this circle, it's just half of the circle. This, this perimeter here is half of the circle, so it's half of the circumference. We divided that by 2 and got our 6.28 feet for half of the circle. Uh, and then we added that with the, the original 13 we got to get the perimeter so we need if we're going to go buy trim we need to buy about 20 foot 20 foot of trim to trim this window and that will conclude this podcast on an application of the circumference of a circle